When it comes to weddings, everyone wants the perfect day. But unless you have unlimited funds, it's I do, but at what cost? Something what the hell is this doing down here? Okay, you told me you were gonna look. It's got That's, little beads on it. Some people like that. It's you not supporting me there in front of your dad made me look like a idiot. Oh, it Well, it did. Because I feel like you are. You're telling me to do something I don't know how to do. That's fine. I did them. I'm comfortable with it. Can we be serious for a second and talk about a rain plan? She's walking down rain or shine. I don't care. Brian, are your earrings coming out? Uh, that shouldn't be a condition. I want them out. Right. Then the ceremony's not happening until the earrings are out. Weddings are memories you'll never forget. Weddings are a day when the bride might get wet. Weddings can leave you with insurmountable debt. Meet newlyweds Christine and Owen. Pulling off their dream wedding meant some fancy financial footwork. Let's join the conga line and see if this high-kicking couple can keep it on budget. My name is Christine, and I'm a 29-year-old teacher. I met Owen, an event designer, 12 years ago at a party, and I was instantly hooked on his outgoing personality. This is the story of how we took our DIY wedding to a whole new level. So our wedding day, I think, was everything that we wanted it to be and more. It was one of probably the most enjoyable days of my life. Their wedding day may have been everything they wanted it to be, but getting there seemed to take everything they had. Let's turn back the clock and witness the trials and tribulations of this hot-tempered couple. Our expectations for the wedding planner were basically to kind of get someone on my side to, um, you know, tame this thing over here. Enter Karina Lemke. Will her 12 years of experience be enough to rein in this perfectionist groom and keep this free-spending couple on budget? So my role as a wedding planner, um, sometimes it's to come up with great ideas for my client, and sometimes it's just to sit down, shut up, and execute their vision. One of the things I, I like to ask a couple right off the top is about their vision. Do you have a vision, or do you have ideas for your wedding? Vision, I have vision. I have lots of vision. Th that department's taken care of. Christine has ideas that she can add to the vision. I'm pretty much set on the one theme, like, and that would be the equestrian um, slash derby type Connecticut Westport Hamptons whole theme. I, but that was only one idea. Like, we, we had a couple more ideas. Yeah, we had other ideas, but we thought that this one suited us the best. But you're not on board with well, this I, yet? Well, I, it's not that I don't like the idea. It's just um, I didn't know we were solid well, on we're that. Right, yeah, yeah, we were running out of time, and we have to get going. Our invitations have to go out. And I was pretty set on this theme. It seemed like you want to do it, unless you have some other ideas that can come up. I, I just, I'm, I'm not then we have positive to roll, about it. We have to roll quickly on it. So you need to bring the themes to the, the table so I can decide if that's something that is, is feasible in my so you can decide. Yeah, if I want to so be, if I, decide. if it's going to suit us, and I can create it the best that I can to showcase the work that I can do. You do design work, right? Mm -hmm. So I imagine Owen's probably kind of taking control on the design elements. A little bit, a little bit, just a little bit. Is that bothering you, or are you okay? With um, that? I would love to be able to have a say in my own wedding, and I'm not saying that I don't have a say, but I would definitely have to run my ideas by him. Even though her idea may be good, yeah. and maybe even though her idea is kind of on board with me, it's my day, and I still need to make sure it's approved and it works with what the vision is in my head. Sure, good. Does he say my day a lot? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. It's it's. It's my Our day. Okay, you are the opposite of just about every groom that I've ever right. met okay. because typically okay. it's the bride's day. Right, it is. <laughs> She'll come home with an idea and I'll be like, yeah, that's great. And I'll kind of want to listen to her and give her that option. But I really, in the back of my head, I know there's no way, there's no way that we're doing that. I'm so sorry for you right now. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's always his day. You've got your hands full. <laughs> As a groom, I would say I'm very particular, very picky, very opinionated. Um, you know, very detailed, um, but you know what? Why not? Whatever you're looking at doing, you're thinking of ceremony and reception in the same venue, right? I think it would be probably the okay, best. Okay, so no religious, no church wedding, nothing Definitely like not that. My mom that's not open to discussion, so I know that's one thing we are for sure. It's not open to discussion. <laughs> it's not open for discussion. For My me. mom no. is probably not keen on that idea, but I think it's what we're gonna decide. Okay, so one location, right? beautiful mm -hmm. ceremony, followed by a reception going like immediately into a reception right. that is that is pumped and jazzed and fun. Okay, so what's your guest count? Do you know what that is at least? Um, probably about 120. 120. Okay, so that's a reasonable number. Do we want to sit down dinner? 
I don't think we so. Still I mean, we've been to some some weddings, and you know that's the most boring part of a wedding, just sitting down with people you don't necessarily know. I'm not really I concerned think. about like the food. It's more how it looks. I want to party. I want to drink. I want to meet people. I want to dance. I want to enjoy the night with our guests. I don't want to be there on this table with people staring at us for two hours. What about the dress? I've already bought it. We don't even have our theme. How do you know what the dress well, is going to look like? Because I choose it. Yeah, but what if it doesn't work with one of the themes? It will. The dress has to do the theme. It, no, the dress has to match me. I can't believe you bought the dress me. without even letting me It has to match me. It's, you're not in charge of me. You're not the boss of me. Uh, oh. I, I, I want it perfect. So then the dress would have to fit in that. No. So I'm a little concerned. I have my own ideas. Like, say we were doing the equestrian theme. I kind of did a quick sketch, quickly, of just something with, like, more of an A line and then kind of coming around the okay, back. Okay, this is the first time a groom has actually sketched out the bride's dress. It, it, it was unbelievable. Quick. It was it's on my lunch word. break. Something it's simple. Inconceivable that you would even draw a wedding dress. But she should be happy that at least I took the moment oh, to think of her dress. How involved are you with choosing your, her clothes on a day-to-day -day basis? Not really, Not really, but I'm more concerned about her going to this dress place with her, her friends or her mom she or something and picking out some dress, that's all. It's I, already been bought. Fine, mm -hmm. just better not be tacky. Having Owen as a groom definitely puts a different spin on our wedding. Uh, typically, it's supposed to be the bride's day and uh, unfortunately, it's a double-edged sword. Um, it's great that he's got so much enthusiasm for this wedding, but I would like a little bit of say, if it's not too much to ask. Have we thought about decor? The decor is pretty much like, I don't want typical wedding decor. I want decor that looks the theme of that it is. So if that's a, a question and I want horses as part of the decor, I want trophy cups, I want riding hats, I want antique furniture brought in. I want to create it with that, where things that people wouldn't walk in for a receiving table and see an antique dresser there rather than just decorate a hall. So whatever you do, you're going to start decor with, like, right at the beginning. Oh, I'll oh, draw yeah. it. I'll draw, yeah. I'll illustrate it. I'll do, like, perspectives of it. I will Storyboard yeah. it Sto almost. I, will, yeah. I do it for my clients. I'll take care of all of that. I'm, I'm pretty much an independent worker, so I really work with the vision and do it, like, my way. And Yeah, I'm getting that. So it's basically your vision, and I'm just a stage manager. You can join my club. I'm joining your club. Okay, that's fine. At least we all know where we stand, yeah. right? <laughs> I think we've covered just about everything that we need to do for this meeting. I know that we don't have a location down, but we do have ideas about theme. So have you, have you worked out the numbers? Do you have a budget? We have a budget. Remember, it's I do, but at what cost? Okay, so I don't know if it'll buy a horse, but it sure buys a lot of horse feed. Coming up. I'm ready to book this, and I'm ready to look for the caterer. I'm ready to look for the outdoor washrooms. I just see it, and I want it. Like, I just, I have to have it. My dad's a minister, so he married us. And the funeral home that he works with kicked in the car and all the folding chairs at my mom's place. And um, so we got picked up by the funeral home director. <laughs> and I got taken to the church by the funeral home director. And then he took us to the hotel afterwards. <laughs> When it comes to agreeing on your wedding plan, you have an obligation to keep an open mind. She'll come home with an idea and I'll be like, yeah, that's great. And I'll kind of want to listen to her and give her that option. But I really, in the back of my head, I know there's no way, there's no way that we're doing that. And at the end of the show, we'll find out if Owen's closed mind meant an open season on spending. One of my initial ideas for the wedding was, you know, a Hamptons horse type of thing for the wedding. And I took Karina and Christine to one of the venues to get a feeling for it and to try to walk them through my vision. This is great. Look at this place. It is fabulous. You've got horses, you've got the fence, you've got the stables you were talking about, and there's parking. That's what I saw. Like, I saw the parking, I saw that there's a field. Really want the horses in the wedding. Ho equestrian show maybe going on in the background. The equestrian show? Yeah, like maybe pay some of the kids or the students that go to the school to be in their, like, their outfits and gear and riding around. Like that whole atmosphere of like the lemonade, the wine, the... The, the very fancy dinner following a very high-end polo yes, match. Yes, that's what I want. I, I just think that it's, it's not going to work out as planned. Don't you want to see the horses in the pictures and mm. the ribbons I and do, the stuff blowing in the wind? I do, but something's going to go wrong. The... It's going to rain three days before, if not on our wedding day. You need to have he... to go with a really expensive tent in order to make that. Right, and that's kind of my issue. I really have an aversion to tents. I'm right? ready to book this, and I'm ready to book a tent, and I'm ready to look for the caterer, I'm ready to look for the outdoor washrooms. I'm ready for that. Do you and... know how much a tent is going to cost you? No idea. How much? I would say probably $3,000. $6,000 minimum. Do you want a floor on the tent? For sure, a floor. Okay. Do you need some chandeliers? I don't want a tent at all. That is what I hate most 
of all this. And if it's $6,000 and then a floor and then lighting. I just see it and I want it. Like I just, I have to have it. I and you're just, not so sure. I'm totally not sold on the fact that it's going to turn out as ideal. And I think that that happens our whole wedding day. We're going to just kind of be deflated. Except the prices, they'll be inflated. So you don't want in a banquet hall. You don't want, the, you know, you, you don't want tents. So you, I challenge you to find a venue that's going to not be in a banquet hall and that's not going to have to require a tent and that's not going to have mosquitoes. I challenge you to that event. Done, done, done. Time to place your bets, because this race is on. I wanted to find somewhere else where we could, I don't know, just kind of let down our hair and have fun instead of just a hoity-toity night. OK, so this is entirely different from the equestrian thing. 180. It's a total 180. But it's fantastic. It's the ultimate Miami lounge, nightclub yes. kind of thing. You've got the water features. You've got the bar. You've got the cabanas. It is going to be so I know. It's awesome. OK, oh, and look, there are no tables at all. Yeah, okay, no tables. They're coffee tables. You don't yeah. need like any frou-frou uh, centerpieces that are going to cost us a million dollars. No, it's beautiful. No, I'm liking the bar. the bar. I like the bar. <gasps> look at look, this. It's got like look. sea elements. This is nice, but is there more? Because I don't want to be stuck in here. This is a little small. Is there like more to look, 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 look. It's, it's gorgeous. Look at this. Look oh, at and it. This is not, I'm sorry, it's not your Hamptons no, equestrian theme. It no. is entirely different from but where you're going. But it's also us. It's us when we go on our cruise every year, twice a year. Like, Hamptons out. Miami in. Miami may be in, but Owen needs to make his mark. I, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm having stuff in my head. I gotta go home and sit down and go through some ideas for, you know, clean decor that's, you know, okay. not gonna take away. Okay. I think you're gonna spend a lot less money on decor for this exactly. because it's already here. Exactly. And I think with the Hamptons themed wedding, you were gonna have to actually create some really beautiful centerpieces, things that looked really, really upmarket. So because we're saving to give this place a little bit of the Miami look. Yes. You understand that I'm, I, have to, I have to create it. We're going to have to go full throttle with it. So I'm talking acrylic and lucite, mirrored, frosted, white. I'm talking trays, maybe coral, artificial coral, maybe. Look that up online. Maybe ebony, woods, dark woods, maybe. God, it's going to cost you a fortune. And what about your time? Look, you like it? It's fine. Done. I agree. OK. So, you know, Chrissy and I talked, and we thought it would be a great idea to involve some of the people that are helping us out for our tasting, you know, a free meal. Yeah, we didn't particularly need opinions, but really... That's not the way it really turned out. So what we have here is a wild mushroom ceviche. Okay, that's in a potato basket, garnished with a little bit of red amaranth. Sounds right. fabulous. Wonderful. Wonderful. So this is an hors d'oeuvre? Yes. Will we pick this up with our fingers? I guess so. I guess a fork would cost extra. Delicious. Yeah, so you know that there's no sit down. Now, is anything delivered around or is all at the table? No, it's all brought around. There are no tables. There is no sit down dinner. How it's a cocktail party. It's all, it's all finger food. It's all finger food. These are little tacos, OK? Are they hot? No, no. Uh, a couple of bites and it's done. That's two for two. I'm excited. Right? It's good. How do we know there's enough food for everybody? Because they, they figure it out. We told them how many guests we have. Yeah. So there's six hors d'oeuvres. Different kinds. Different kinds. And then the, the main food is finger foods as well. But it's larger. Larger. OK, so how much is this costing per person? Um, the hors d'oeuvres and the past plates are coming to about With $70. Seafood. With the seafood as well. Uh, yeah, per plate. And then we have a seafood bar on top of that, which is an additional $15 a person. So $85 per person for food. Right. Hmm, $85 just to make it look chic? $85 for finger foods. Well, it's not all it's finger foods. It's finger foods with the hors d'oeuvres at first, but then we have larger food. But it's still finger foods. For $85, yeah. you could get... No. We're doing this for us. We have a style going. We have a theme going. What you, everyone needs to understand is that, first off, it's our day. We don't want the formalities. We don't want to sit there for two hours. I don't like that. We want to have fun and enjoy our day. What My concern is just how much money you're paying. Is there going to be enough food for the people that are there? Or is it going to run out? Or is somebody going to miss something, you know? If we have six hors d'oeuvres and seven pass plates and eight desserts and a candy station and a nut station, There's and you have all those choices, you have those people are going to have more chance of finding something they like rather than chicken or, or meat. Yeah. That's... And I think they're going to remember this a lot better than a chicken with some steamed vegetables on the side. So I know this is like some people may have some feelings about it, but this is basically what Christine and I have decided. We've gone with a theme. We've finally decided on a venue. We've done it all. we figured it out. We've worked all through the details. This is the way it's going to be. This is what we want, and people are just going to have to accept it. In other words, we're paying, so you'll eat what's on your plate. All right. This is what we want. 
Owen was not particularly open to a whole bunch of ideas from Karina, we did decide to go uh, take her advice and check out a cigar roller for our wedding. We thought that would be uh, a neat idea. But I understand you have cigar rollers that yes, come out? Yes, we do, yeah. So how does that work? Do they pre-buy well, yeah, the cigars? Yeah, well, actually, you came to the right place. Because I know we came have, to the right place. Of we have, we right have place. Uh, Cuban cigar rollers that make beautiful handmade Cuban cigars. Okay. And we have some wonderful tobaccos. Now. Um, and what about if they, they hire a roller? Do we pay for the time for the roller? Yes, and yes. So the, the, so the roller would be, we would take care of everything, but it would be about $200 for a roller. $200. And how so long we would, do they we get that? So for as long as you need them. So Do we buy each cigar as they so as whatever they the, them? Yeah, whatever you would choose. So we could choose cigars that are like at the 7 or $8 or $10 yeah, range, whatever whatever's comfortable yeah, for them? Whatever, yes. What about custom labels, yeah. right? That so is that, really you cool. could get like yeah. your monogram put yeah. on it or something like that? Yeah, we could do that too. Is there an extra charge for that? It's about $200. I really like the idea of having this. At the, when I can see it now, like I just... It would I, look fabulous. I know some yeah. of our friends and family that love cigars are just going to be all over this. Like yeah. it's going to be... It's, it's going to be different. They're not going to expect it. Uh, Even just the smell of cigars at the wedding is just adding to the ambience. Would you be okay with the money, though? Could you have the guests buy the cigars? Is that something that you would consider Buy doing? Hmm, what's the Spanish word for cheap? That's El Cheapo. I just feel a little just... bit odd only because we've put out the money for the bar and the food and everything, and then the gifts are arriving, and then it's the one thing that people aren't expecting is the cigars. It's a different thing for a wedding, and then all of a sudden to expect them to pay for it. To me, it's just like we've gone all this step. We're introducing this new element and oh did you bring your 20 bucks with you i just kind of feel awkward about that, that. Awkward, i understand that. what you're saying um i just don't want it to get out of hand what if a hundred of your guests that's the thing i actually I wouldn't want even cigars. know what percentage of our guests would be interested and if we had bought you know uh, quite a bit would people <coughs> take the cigar just because it's there there's a couple of eat. ways of solving this product how, how okay? would you do it the best thing would be to cut it have a, have a certain amount Okay, and then after that, then they, they, they can buy it. I mean, you could also go on sort of almost a ticket system, so you could pre-buy a certain number of tickets, which you would give to the people, to your family and to your friends and the people that are right. closest. And yeah. once those are that's gone, they're gone. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Once we saw the cigar roller in, in action, um, it, it, I think we were kind of sold on the idea. It was just really neat to watch and a kind of entertainment for our guests. Coming up. I'm trying to give a surprise for the day of the wedding. I don't want any surprises on the day of the wedding. Brides don't like surprises no. on the day of their wedding, no one. I think what happened when we got married that fast, our friends said, oh, she must be pregnant. <laughs> That'll be three years. That must be an elephant. <laughs> that is true. That, that comment was made. Remember? Yes. That was good. Mm -hmm. Because when people got married quickly, it was usually that. But no, we didn't have it's a child happened. for three years. When planning a wedding, you may need to hold back on a few things. So because we're saving to give this place a little bit of the Miami look. Yes. You understand that I'm, I, have to, I have to create it. We're going to have to go full throttle. Oh, it's what? going to be great. And later, we'll let you know if creating a Miami look meant creating a financial disaster. I wanted to have something interesting um, while we were getting our pictures taken. So in keeping with our Miami theme, I thought some salsa dancers might be interesting. It'd be something that I could have for our wedding that was my idea. I was just telling Karina how okay. I thought it would be nice to have them, you know, teach some lessons while we're going on uh, on for our pictures. Okay. Uh, Richard, can you show us a little bit of what we might get for our performance? Sure, we would love to. Let's get some music on and we're ready. Wasn't that awesome? It was, it was good. They were good. Thank you, guys. That was okay. Okay, you have to. You have can't them. say no. No, they're so good. They're so good. They're so good. Well, we ha I know. I, I think they're great. It's just that we have so many other stuff already going on. Well, but that's your problem. You're the one who made all the <laughs> stuff that's going on. I want our guests to have fun. Is it expensive? Um, it's $500, which I don't think is unreasonable. Oh, and you're giving her the look? I'm that, giving her the look because I just, got, that, look I like just got that look a million times without when I go to spend money. By the way, this is this shouldn't be as competitive. This is you, both know. of your wedding. Oh, like, I know. It should be I'm about just saying. It is all about him at any other time, OK? I This is one thing that I want. I, you're adding another $500. So? According to you, that's not a big deal. This is the bottom line. It's not his idea. It's not it's just not so they're related, so therefore so it's not quite no. as valid. That's Ex not exact, why. That is, no, that is exactly the point. I didn't picture it. Uh, Richard and Adrian, are you guys available on our wedding day? Yeah, we are. Yes, we are. Okay, then that's it. 
I'm making a decision. What are you doing? I am writing them a check. Chris, we need to discuss it, though. No, we, we need don't. to go home and discuss it. No, you don't discuss anything. You can keep talking, Owen, but she's still writing. Whatever, you can do that, but I'm not being responsible for all the budget overages. Whatever. That's enough. Done. I, no, can you I book them, I, please? I, I will book them. Okay. Okay. I'm one one. Okay. This one goes to Christine, but you can bet that Owen has a few surprises up his sleeve. When it came to um, our guest favors, I wanted something different that wasn't edible, something that I wanted our guests to keep and remind them of our wedding. So I thought mojito favors would be great. I thought that would be just adorable. Hey, how's it going? Fine, doing our favors. Wanna I see? I can see that. Look, I'd finish one completely. Watch, watch, watch. Little brown ribbon, got our logo on there. Muddlers. Are all the ribbons lining up exactly? Yes, they're all lining up. No, but I, I'm like, not stupid. No, but look, this one's off a little. By what, a millimeter? But they're gonna be road Chris. They're the exact same, okay? Is that tape gonna pull off the frost no, off the glass? Just, can you not nitpick? Somehow, I don't think that's an option. I wanna make sure that because they're homemade, I don't want them to look that they way. They don't look homemade, they look awesome. I'm not saying that, I just want to make sure we're just- They are. Okay. Whatever you're trying to make sure they are, they already are. Well, it's great, I like the paper we've used. I like the mojito, I like the, the font and the color. I just don't know if all the old guests are gonna be able to decipher what those are. Like, I know those are limes, but maybe if we had just done three pictures- Are you kidding color. me? They're fine. It's a recipe card. Yeah. This is wicked. Uh, no, I'm not saying Who that. Who gets mojito kits? <laughs> Nobody. No, it's fine. I'm excited. They look good. Then what's your problem with it? I don't know, Christine. Maybe it's just not perfect enough. It's just hard for me to sit back and, you know, I'm used to planning every Whatever. little detail. That's all. My project with the mojitos came under budget. So I like to just stick that to Owen because anything that I've been doing, I've been getting on the cheap. And I think they look fantastic. So he can just... Take it. I always thought Kenny was cheap. It is not cheap. It is expensive. It was a major focus of me for my wedding day for years. Ever since I met Christine, I've always talked about it. Um, I thought you got all the candy. I went to oh, the no, I got, I, got I got the candy, like the ribbon candy, the old-fashioned lollipops for the stands, um, some chocolate stuff. I got all that stuff for like that look, but I just want like some jars full of like just colors in the back. How much have you spent on candy so far? Because if you've got most of it. The candy and the, the, the candy display, which includes the jars to yeah. display it, is probably close to 1500 What? That can't all be, that's all candy? I thought you were doing like $500 worth no, of candy. No, oh that's God, like the, so did that's I. the candy I ordered from the States. It oh, and this the is risers. for dessert. We no, even no, have. And the jars. We cut back some of the desserts. We have like catering that's doing some dessert and we have our cake. Wow, that's one expensive sweet tooth. But it's candy, and they're it not diamonds. The if, no, but it's gonna look great, and that's what's the most important part. Well, that's we not had the part of the budget. About, no. like, and you wanna spend more today, right? Just a little bit for some color. Okay, but like, I thought we were doing this candy buffet because I thought candy was cheap. If I can jump in here, I know, I think it's gonna look fabulous because I mean, whatever you turn your hand to, right. it looks incredible, and I know that you don't really want me for decor inspiration, right. but you, you do need to use me to keep everything on budget. Christine, I can see that she's upset here about this because because this was a line item that just wasn't accounted for. Right. And what I'm afraid of at the end is that you're gonna be hit with like a really big bill that you're not prepared right. for. They might need to look for a sugar daddy to help pay for their wedding. How much are you spending on decor? What's the what's that? When it's all said and done, probably about thirty-five hundred to four thousand dollars. We spent more than thirty-five hundred dollars on decor. If this is included, well, we're, well, we have the receipts. It's probably about just over four of that we've spent. No, I, I bet you it's it's more. It's more than that. You're gonna go to a store and then find something. Oh, we have to have this, and then go to another store and we have to have that, and go to another store we have to have that, and it just builds up and it's never gonna stop. So you don't care. No, I do. You just I, will spend no. whatever it takes to get what you want. After all, it is Owen's big day. Are there any more surprises? That's what. I, do you want to know if there are any more surprises? Surprises? Yeah. I was trying to hold this back, but if you're, you guys are forcing out of me. I'm trying to give a surprise for the day of the wedding. I don't want any surprises on the day of the wedding. Brides don't like surprises no. on the day of their wedding, Owen. We have something that's going to happen on the wedding day that's just going to be awesome. It better be free. Okay, well, tell us. I've, I've, spit it out. I've located Stop this Stop running site. around your comments and just spit it out. Picture one of these little things. I'm showcasing you and the wedding party on it's an acrylic an runway. An acrylic runway. Be. Yeah. That so I have to walk across. That you're going to walk over the pool on. Isn't that awesome? I have to I'm walk right. across a piece of plastic over a pool. Yes. In, in heels 
and my wedding dress. Like, Are you for real? I'm 100% it's done, paid for. What? I've paid for it. Oh, we you're in no trouble aisle. now. You are so- No, but wait, 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 wait. Shut up. How much does it cost? Seriously. $500. You haven't even consulted me on it? But Chris, I've already paid for it, it's done. Done, like the budget. Our budget right now is in dire straits. I don't think we've saved anything. Owen keeps saying we've saved on decor, but it, it, decor is our biggest um, amount of money that we've spent. We keep going over and over and over on every little detail. I don't know what we're gonna do. Coming up. Look at this, this is awful. Owen. There's no freaking way she's wearing this dress. I just want the wedding to be perfect. She was gorgeous. Seeing her come out of that, uh, that limo and uh, wow, I was shaking like a leaf. And it was just, uh, um, I'd, I'd do it all over again. It went too fast, too fast. When it comes to getting approval for spending, don't expect it to be as easy as taking candy from a baby. The candy is probably close to 1,500. What? That can't all be, that's all candy? And at the end of the show, we'll find out if the money spent on candy left Christine with a bitter aftertaste. Owen and I were in the kitchen uh, with his cousin and his aunt came in with my wedding dress. And from there, things went a little sour. Okay, you gotta put that away. Chris, I'm not gonna look, it's perfectly fine. Whatever. No, you're so gonna look. No, I'm not. Upstairs. Chris, I don't even snoop at Christmas. I'm not gonna look. And Amber's here, she's gonna protect it. Did you just say you don't snoop at Christmas? I don't snoop at Christmas. <laughs> you are the biggest liar Lyerson on the face Like, you don't see it at Monopoly, eh? There's nothing wrong with that, yeah. I'm not gonna look. We'll be back shortly. All right, see you later. Don't even worry. Remember. I'll watch, I'll, watch I'll watch him. I'll watch him. I'll keep him drinking. <laughs> not, not too many drinks. Okay. okay. <laughs> I think this is where things might just turn nasty. I'll be right back in a sec to help you, all right? Where are you going? Upstairs. Well, you can't go upstairs, oh? Well, I'm not going to go in the spare room, Amber. I'm just going to go upstairs. I don't think that's a it. good idea. Look at this. This is awful. Owen. Look at it. Look at this. Oh, and no! I just want the wedding to be perfect. But she she wants no. to be perfect too, and this is How her much she spend on this dress, Amber? I don't know. Fifteen hundred dollars. There's no freaking way she's wearing this dress for fifteen hundred dollars. It looks really pretty. Taking the dress down, and I'm waiting for her. You might not have a wedding after that. I feel that I should be able to, you know, have a say or make sure that we're both comfortable and we look the way we should to look our best on the wedding day. So. What the hell is this doing down here? Fifteen hundred dollars. Okay, fifteen hundred dollars. No, I don't I care. care. I don't care. I'm saw, not gonna look at I it. I saw the price tag first, and I never knew you'd spend fifteen hundred dollars. Okay, you told me you were gonna look. It's got That's, little beads on it. It's pretty. No, it's not pretty. Um, What's wrong with that? I, I, Some got, people like that. It looks like it's from a craft store. I, I mean, no right I to only looked at the I actual dress. I was fine with the, the price. I thought that was a good price. I think Other dresses were like thirty-five. Not for that dress. I thought, well, maybe it's gonna be some. Like razzle dazzle, amazing freaking piece of design work or something. I think it's beautiful. Oh, Christine. Beautiful it's awful. honor. Just and the dress is not even a dress that suits the style of the wedding. It's beautiful. You gotta tell me you're kidding me. You're kidding me, right? I see you're smiling. You're kidding me. No, it's my real dress. Chris, you're kidding me. You're kidding me now. <laughs> you're laughing! Oh, damn it! Is this for the ball? Is, it? is this, this is a Do joke? Do you seriously think I would take my dress? <laughs> into the same abode that you are standing in. This is a joke. I can't believe you would do that. Can't be trusted. I'm more Owen. relieved. I'm just relieved that this is not Eleven years. You think I don't know you by no. now? I, I don't know. Now I need like four more drinks. <laughs> Drink on, Owen. I think you've underestimated your bride. You picked a good dress for the joke, I, I must say. Funny. It looked like something, honestly, from like a, a zombie movie that when they come back from the dead. Like, I just didn't, I didn't like that dress at all. When it came to the rehearsal, you know, for the ceremony and stuff, I think we got accomplished what we needed to. It was okay. By, by okay, do you mean awkward? Because I found it unproductive and awkward. Uh, once you said your vows, I, I say a few words, and then we introduce the ring ceremony. And who has the rings? That's a big question. I can't decide who to give it to. <laughs> I can't decide. It usually, it should be one of the guys, right? Sometimes it's uh, one of the guys or, or one uh, one with the woman as well. Depends. So just give, just give to Brian. You're Brian, gonna he's gonna lose them. No, not from there. <laughs> Brian give, will lose them. No, no. If you give him the ring there, that that will give me a panic attack if Brian has the rings. <laughs> so it's gonna have to be somebody reliable. Brian, do you want the responsibility of the ring? Okay. If he doesn't trust me, no, Brian, take it. He doesn't lose all his earrings. 
he has to lose those earrings. Can I can I just ask a question? Now, I know that you and I talked about this, Don, but when your father walks you up, the custom is for him to ask who gives this girl in marriage or this woman in marriage. You've taken that out? I haven't taken it out, but we could put it in, maybe, I don't know. I mean, I know I asked yeah. Owen, he said you two discussed it, but I it's just... Remember when we did it with Don? We yeah. didn't do that part. It's oh, a part, no. it's, okay. it's a part, I mean, I Don, didn't, I didn't realize it, it wasn't there. Is it big to add right. I don't mind putting it in. Do you want who gives, who presents, who brings? Okay. <laughs> Which do you want? I don't know, but I don't think we present ourselves to give us to marriage. It's our decision. Uh, Owen. Well, no, in really, you know what? In really, it's not. Really. I'm not traditional. Owen. I know, honey. It doesn't really matter. I hear you about the tradition. Does it matter? Thing, but it's not even that. It's that's really, stupid. I gain a daughter, but a father gives up his daughter in marriage. I understand that, okay. but that's Owen. not my view on marriage. Owen. I don't feel that you give us away, and I don't feel that it it's. Doesn't, to me, it does. You, why do you have to put. Because it does okay. matter. But give. Why are you, he because have it to does say matter. Give. I don't want to give. Because we're not objects. We're not given to people. Owen. Not give. He can say present. You Mom, know, I don't know why you're bringing why this up right now. Why do you have to now. be so, like... I didn't want this brought up now. We were doing the rehearsal. That's not important. Could, I told you we talked about it after. John, I don't Owen, like all those things. Stop for a minute. Listen to what I'm saying. If he says, who presents this woman for marriage? What's, is, that, is that all right? Not Fine, the word give. Not give. Oh, we, okay, thank you. Thank you. Owen doesn't give in that easily. When it comes to our ceremony and our day, I've done enough for everybody else. But there are considerations you have to make. One of the considerations is you're having Phil walk Chris up and you are having her hand her off to the, to, to the ceremony. So in doing that, to simply ask him the question, who presents this woman, is really a courtesy to, to Phil. But I just want it known, yes. because I keep hearing from everyone in the family, this is what they want on this I day, know. this is what they want. I'm done with the family requests. When we say this is what we're going in and this is what we're doing, that's what's happening, you're there, you're not. Because I, I, we go home and we spend hours fighting and wrestling about trying to make everyone else happy on our day. This is your day and this is about you. This is about the two of you and we all have to make concessions and get over and grow up or get on with it. I realize that. Don't, don't let it ruin your day. Don't let it ruin your relationships. No, I just think the train is going to be moving that day and if they want to be on it when it's leaving, they're on it. Good, and it'll be a good day for everybody. Yep. Well, first and of all, I wasn't even considered in the first place and, and it's a big thing for me. It has to be considered at some point. But okay. I will say that he, when he did ask us, we both said we didn't want that together. I don't even recall the conversation. But. Well, okay, well, well thanks. Certainly, certainly well, then I'm glad it's... That discussion should get to me, too, and that hasn't happened. Well, thank you thank you for making the concession. I appreciate it, because it is a courtesy that's important to both Phil and I. So we appreciate that, okay? And I will try to make a concession for you. What concession? I don't know. There's right. problems with the cars here. There's oh, problems okay. with everything. Oh, and there's no problems with anything. I'd say there were a few problems. Thanks, Karina. But you not supporting me there in front of your dad made me look like a f***ing idiot. Owen. Well, it did. Because I feel like you are. No, right but now. he did. T but Don asked us that thing, and he told me right there when you were down there with Karina. He said, "Yeah, we did over, and you and Christine and Owen both decided." Because you embarrassed me, and you were so consumed with your opinion, you didn't even hear what he said. I don't like the word give because okay, I'm not but objects. you don't have to insult people who are standing right there. We're not. I said presents is fine. No, you, I just don't want gives. You, no, and if I insult people, you completely insulted my brother. Well, no, no. He does lose things. You even Owen, said you. Shut up. Who was late today for the shut rehearsal? Up. No. I'm not being here. I think there were so many issues that weren't really issues that blew up today. I don't know why. Um, I thought it would have gone a lot smoother, but uh, that seems to be my life. Coming up, Ryan. Are your earrings coming out? Uh, that shouldn't be a condition. Uh, I want them out. Then the ceremony's not happening until the earrings are out. He proposed during a commercial. It wasn't even, will you marry me? It was kind of, let's do it. <laughs> and it was the next commercial that I answered. And it was, are you kidding? Sure. <laughs> when planning a wedding, you have to know when to keep your opinions to yourself. Look at this, this is awful. There's no freaking way this is dress, she's wearing this dress for $1,500. And when we sum things up, we'll see if Owen's prying eyes led to a total cost this couple couldn't bear to look at. The morning of our, uh, our wedding, I wasn't too stressed. I woke up, had my hair all did, got my makeup put on, nothing major. Had a little bite to eat, played a little video games. Pretty easy morning. Owen 
is probably freaking out at everybody right now. Our groomsmen probably want to go home. I had sat with all the wedding party the night before. You know, we sat around and I said, listen, it's going to be a lot of work. Just do me a favor. If you have a negative comment, just keep it to yourself. I want to keep it positive. But from the moment we got there, we opened up the truck. I heard the sighs. I heard the moans. I heard the groans. And that was disappointing. And that caused me a lot of stress. I'm glad I wasn't there. I wasn't that bad. I'm sure you were. What's the problem? We're laughing because the amount of shit you have. Yeah, well, that's good. It's my day. It's going to be looking good. Don't get them going. Yeah. You sure we can do this in five hours? Yeah. It's not as much as you think. Yes, it is. I'm the one that loaded it. Oh, my god. There are boxes, tons and tons of boxes that are still left to be unpacked. It's a sea of decor. It's insane. What's that noise? Well, it's either a swarm of locusts or the Indy. This is going to go on because they're just doing trials now? Yeah, but when does the racing stop? Like, four? Four. Think of it as a very large bunch of humming, whirring bees. Uh-oh. I guess a massive car race wasn't part of Owen's perfectly planned day. Spencer, you need a job to do. If you find yourself sitting at any moment, call me and ask me what we need to do so we can keep it moving. Or there will be wristbands tonight and no one will be having drinks. What would you like, King? Would you like that? Hey, go easy on the health or they'll quit. Finally! A great way to both cut costs and alienate your wedding party. I don't know if this is right. Owen? Oh, oh, I don't know how this works. You shouldn't have left early that day. I don't know how to do it. I've done this awnings on my own like a million times. If you want me to just leave, then I will. Go. This can't be right. Go then. You can leave. You can see what... That's fine. I did them. I'm comfortable with this. This is good. Yes. Oh. Freaking out. Well, I'm being pushed every two minutes. You're telling me to do something I don't know what to do. I think Owen's fuse is running short. Are we getting coffee yet? Not yet. I mean, it's not a big deal to send one person away and get coffee into bagels. Well, that'll happen when this damn truck is unloaded and the flowers out of the car. Because right now, I have stuff I need done. We need to get organized. Once we get everyone to sign and doing tasks, I'll send someone to get coffee. All right. Yeah. Calm down. Just when you thought things couldn't get worse. Hey, everybody, it is raining now. Everything inside the cabanas. Owen, oh, can we be serious for a second and talk about a rain plan? She's walking down, rain or shine, I don't care. Careful what you wish for. It is raining. It is not even raining a little bit. It's not spitting. It is raining. It's torrential downpour rain. It is lightning. It is thunder. It is like locusts falling from the sky bad. It is their worst possible nightmare. It is the only thing that could ruin this event, and it has happened. So, Amber, I think we're screwed. I don't think so. It's already clearing up, Chris. Clearing up? The thunder stopped. It is clearing up. No. <clears throat> Not yet. Hello? Hello? It's Owen. Has Brian shaved off all his facial hair? No. Where He needs to shave off all his facial hair. Where is he? He's in the bathroom. One sec. I need to talk to him, please. Don't hang up. Okay. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi. All your facial hair is gone? Um, just a tiny bit under my chin, under my lip. No, it all has to be gone. What do you mean it all has to be gone? Christine wants all hair. We both decided together that everyone was clean shaven. You don't make that decision. Well, it's my wedding party, Brian. I'm asking you to do this for us. It's Christine and I. If you want, I can have her call you. Okay. But I don't really want to disturb her right now. I'm doing it. You're going to shave it? I'm doing it. Thank you very much, buddy. Bye. Thank you. Something tells me you won't be buddies tomorrow. What are you going to do with those earrings? <laughs> oh, he's gonna snap. To out. He's gonna snap. I don't know honestly how he'll even notice. Is everything else going on? Oh, he'll notice. That's the only thing he. We're <laughs> making sure we all look good. And we know Owen is particular. How are you doing? Fine, except right. for these people. Can't think It'll of work it out. Room. It'll work it out, okay? I love you. You're not answering your phone? No. So I'm just gonna leave. Brian, are your earrings coming out? I don't know. Brian, Brian you need, need to come out. The earrings are coming out with you. That's my decision. You know what? They asked to be in the wedding party, and part of that was that you would take the earrings out. And out of... Out of that shouldn't be a condition. Out of respect... You just saved, you just saved you. Out of the respect, they shouldn't ask me. He doesn't have to do okay. anything. Out of respect. should not ask me. Okay, so you're gonna look at... You don't mind seeing Christine cry, because it's not out of respect. Cry. She, she agreed with me with the earrings. I don't even want to talk about it. She agreed with okay, me. We won't I got them out. He just she, shaved his beard. I understand that, but he has to take the earrings out. No, it's his life. Let him take it. Then the ceremony's not happening until the earrings are out. Okay. 
Because Christy and I had this discussion last yesterday. Yeah, I had the discussion with Brian, not with Christine. It is an issue. Yeah, well, I'm going to freak if it gets too bad, too. You know what, Phil? This is their wedding. When I you know, had your wedding, well. you did your wedding. I know wedding. very well. Brian's already shaved. So what? Yeah, it's his life. It's his body. Thanks a lot. I'm fed up with this. Yeah, I tell you, I've heard too much of this. Not and I'm fed up with a family that's not flexible. Very stubborn, very selfish, not flexible. I'm fed up He doesn't have to be told to do stuff like we that. We asked him at the you wedding party meeting. Me. You didn't ask me once. You said it in passing to somebody else. Ryan? If the earrings are in, we're not starting the ceremony. I've made it perfectly clear. Not starting the ceremony. It's been two months. I've made that clear. Yeah. Ryan? Phil, let's go out of the room. Leave him alone. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi, Owen. It's Karina. Hi. Hi. Um, hi. It's, it's hi. It's still raining here. Okay. Um, how far are you away from getting into your cars? Because you should be here by 3:30. Because you're going to need to make a call on whether this thing is indoors or outdoors. Because right now it's. We're just going to have to delay the ceremony until it's outdoors. Can I just watch the weather? And they said it's still not. It's not going to rain. It's just scattered showers. So we'll have to hold it. Let everyone go out just before when it stops and clears. It has to be outside. It, I, don't, I don't care if we have to hold the ceremony back half an hour, then that's what we do. Okay, so basically okay. we just hold guests in here as long yeah. as we can? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So call, bye. you know what? Bye. <laughs> Finally, Brian's earrings came out, the rain stopped, and Christine made it down the aisle. It's hard to say what I felt like when I saw Christine in words because I don't know, it was just it was just a moment for myself that you know I'll got keep a forever. Teary. I got a little teary, but I kept it together because we couldn't have any more water on any of the decor, so I don't want to start crying. Beautiful. Who presents this woman to be married to this man? I do. Thank you. No one looking at Christine, will you please say after me? I own Take you, Christine, to be my wife. For richer or for poorer. For richer or, or for poorer. And I, Christine, take you, Owen, to be my husband, and to be faithful to you alone as long as we both shall live. Yeah, please help away. Owen, will you take this ring and put it on the fourth finger of Christine's left hand? I do pronounce you husband and wife. Salute each other with a kiss. Coming up, cakes. I hate cakes. If they're buttercream, they melt. If they're fondant, they sweat. This was a combination of buttercream and fondant, so it was sweating and melting at the same time. We were in that receiving line for about an hour and a half to two hours, just shaking and because kissing. Because of the number of people. And... That your father invited. Uh. <laughs> When it comes to the wedding day, be prepared to be overcome with feelings for your partner. Can we be serious for a second and talk about a rain plan? She's walking down, rain or shine, I don't care. And in a few minutes, we'll let you know if Owen's frosty attitude left this couple on financial thin ice. Our reception, I thought, it, it was great. Everyone had a really good time. People were dancing, having a cigar, got some lessons. It all just kind of came together. It was everything we wanted it to be. While Christine and Owen let off a little steam, something else was heating up. Cakes, 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 ah! Cakes, I hate cakes, you know why? Because if they're buttercream, they melt. If they're fondant, they sweat. This was a combination of buttercream and fondant, so it was sweating and melting at the same time. It was like the Leaning Tower of Pisa, that cake. It was insane. See, having a wedding planner is the icing on the cake. The cake was saved and the night went on without another hitch. This day was awesome, we love each other. This is like, it's turned into everything we wanted it to be and everyone can't stop saying how great it is, so it's been great, right? We're just eating up the compliments. I'm just ready for those cheesecake lollipops and we're all set. Oh yeah. I want the cheesecake. <laughs> but are you ready to have a taste of the budget? The original budget for our wedding that we handed Karina was $30,000. The professional salsa dancers really brought our Miami theme to fruition. I knew that they would be fantastic, Owen, and they only cost $500. Everybody loved them. The guest favors, the mojito glasses with the menu cards, the menu cards could have been a little bit different, but overall people seemed to be really impressed with them and they cost us a total of $650. 
My wedding dress and accessories were beautiful. I love them. They cost $1,211. The candy and nut display, including awnings, which looked amazing and that got devoured like crazy, cost us a total of $1,621. Our wedding planner, Karina, was amazing. It was nice to have somebody on my side for once. Her fee was $2,000. Well worth it. Our decor, which was like a big issue with our wedding, with help with our wedding party and the designs that I did in executing it with Christine, really, you'll be really surprised, our decor was only $3,395. Our venue for our wedding was absolutely beautiful. The palm trees and the nightclub feel was exactly what we were looking for. The cost, including five-star food and all alcohol, was $19,571. Our miscellaneous charges, including DJ, photographer, 8mm video, the cigar roller, and all those little extras, cost a total of $17,777. What we actually spent on our wedding was $46,725. Which puts us over by an embarrassing $16,725. But really, all over my fault. original budget, which was closer to $40, we'd only be over $6,725. It's the decor, we knew it was gonna be that, and all those pillows that you added. Or just you. Us, we're together now. It's us. The cigars were rolled, a new Latin can-can was created, and fireworks lit up the sky. The only question left is, did Owen finally approve of Christine's dress? If I could do it all again, Less humidity and more sobriety, maybe. Those are the two things that I would request. We lived in Bermuda, Bermuda shorts. Everybody wears Bermuda shorts, and you had very nice-looking legs. Yeah, we go. That's why, I think that's why she married me, because of my legs. Like that. <laughs> ah, that's going to leave a mark.